This is KTLA, Channel 5, Tribune Broadcasting in Los Angeles. KTLA News with live cameras in the air and on the ground. KTLA covers Southern California with the news live on 5. This is the 6.30 edition of KTLA News with live cameras in the air and on the ground. Western America's first television station brings you now the news live on five. Now, here is Joseph Bentley. Good evening. In West Los Angeles today, the Earth... KTLA camera crews rush to you each night the news of this day on News Picture 5.30. Republican senatorial candidate George Murphy spoke to the California... This is the Big Five News, with the Channel 5 News team of Kevin Sanders and Barney Morris. Commentary by Tom Retton. Sports with Tom Harmon. And now, here is Kevin Sanders. An 11-year-old girl was shot to death in Malibu today. Golden West Broadcasters for Los Angeles, KTLA 5. Stand by for news. It's next on Channel 5. Live and in color from Los Angeles, Channel 5 presents the George Putnam News with Hal Fishman, Tom Harmon, and Larry McCauley, and exclusive reports from the world's only telecopter and telemobile, plus comprehensive news coverage from air and sea patrol in the fastest moving news report in television. And now, here is George Putnam. Thank you, Steve Dunn. The state legislature gives final approval to a massive $1.1 billion tax bill. Channel 5 presents the George Putnam News, the fastest moving news report in television. George Putnam, Hal Fishman, Larry McCormick, and Tom Harmon. The most comprehensive news coverage from air, land, and sea with the world's only color telecopter, the Telemobile mobile units, and sea patrol. And now, here is George Putnam. And to continue, here's Hal Fishman. A home right here in Los Angeles appears to be inhabited by a poltergeist. After 50 years of service, the great white steamship may soon sail away for good. There's good news in the RTD strike. And police today made a blanket search of radio station KPFK looking for the alleged communique from the self-proclaimed New World Liberation Front and labor wins in Britain. I'm Cleet Roberts, and this is The World at 10. The World at 10, a complete summary of the day's events. All the news, where it happens, when it happens. The most comprehensive news report in the Southland. With Cleet Roberts and the Channel 5 News Team. Now, The World at 10. Brought to you in part by Harrison Frank, the 38 fashion stores with the famous brands for men and women. Ladies and gentlemen, there appear to be some very strange things happening in one Los Angeles home tonight, and those involved say the unusual events have been going on for a couple of weeks. Good evening. Rewards totaling $140,000 are being offered or proposed for information leading to the arrest of the Los Angeles Strangler. And we're going to show you what some women are doing to protect themselves in dangerous situations. They're learning the art of fighting off attackers. Tighter regulations are being proposed under which the government will pay for sterilization operations. And former President Gerald Ford, speaking here in Los Angeles, has some comments about the upcoming preliminary peace conference in Cairo. Governor Brown has returned to Los Angeles from London, but this time he did not take the cheapy flight. And John Wayne is back in familiar surroundings, working for a new outfit, one he says he can be proud of. Tonight on News Watch with Hal Fishman, Marilyn Devon, and Larry McCormick. Mudslides take a heavy toll in Sweden. A scientific breakthrough in the use of artificial genes. And three top awards go to Channel 5's News Watch. Reward money for the Los Angeles Strangler will total $140,000 by tomorrow if all the money proposed is actually approved. Channel 5, News at 10, the number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Now, Emmy Award winning Hal Fishman, Debbie Davison, Larry McCormick, Joe Butita with sports, and the entire Channel 5 news team. 
Good evening. 38-year-old Jeffrey Parker, accused in the beating death of San Francisco socialite Joan Mills, was found... Channel 5, News at 10. The number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Now, Emmy Award-winning Hal Fishman, Debbie Davison, Larry McCormick, Joe Butita with sports, and the entire Channel 5 news team. Good evening. Six major cities in India have been hit by a wave of violence as they're... And the Dodgers. Channel 5, News at 10. The number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Now, Emmy Award winning Hal Fishman. Debbie Davison. Larry McCormick. Steve Rohr with sports. And the entire Channel 5 news team. Good evening. Mayor Tom Bradley appears to be headed tonight for an unprecedented fourth term as mayor of the city of Los Angeles. Channel 5, News at 10, the number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Now, Emmy Award winning Hal Fishman, Debbie Davison, Larry McCormick, Keith Overman with sports, and the entire Channel 5 news team. Channel 5, News at 10. The number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Now, Emmy Award winning Hal Fishman, Bibby Davison, Larry McCormick, Steve Rowe with sports, and the entire Channel 5 news team. Good evening. Channel 5, News at 10. The number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Now, Larry McCormick, Giselle Fernandez, Ed Arnold with Sports Page and the entire Channel 5 News Team. Good evening. It is the first day of November in 1986. Channel 5 News at 10. The number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Now, award-winning Hal Fishman, Keith Lake, Larry McCormick, Keith Oberman with Sports and the entire Channel 5 news team. Channel 5 News at 10, the number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Now, award-winning Hal Fishman, T.U. Lake, Larry McCormick, Keith Overman with sports, and the entire Channel 5 news team. Good evening. Explosive testimony from Secretary of State George Shultz during today's session of the Iran-Contra hearings in Washington. Now, the number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Channel 5, News at 10. Award-winning Hal Fishman, Jan Caro, Larry McCormick, Keith Overman with sports, and the entire Channel 5 news team. Number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Channel 5 News at 10. Award winning Hal Fishman, Jan Caro, Larry McCormick, Stu Nahan with sports, and the entire Channel 5 News team. Now, the number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Channel 5 News at 10. Award winning Hal Fishman, Jan Caro, Larry McCormick. Stu Nahan with sports and the entire Channel 5 news team. Good evening, everybody. Hal Fishman is on vacation. Now, the number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Channel 5 News at 10. Larry McCormick, Minerva Perez, Ed Arnold with sports and the entire award-winning Channel 5 news team. Good evening, everyone. Larry McCormick has the night off. Now, the number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Channel 5 News at 10. Larry McCormick, Minerva Perez, Ed Arnold with sports, and the entire award-winning Channel 5 news team. Good evening. Well, unless you've been hiding under a rock somewhere for the last few hours, you have surely heard the news by now. Hey, you may have even heard the cheer from Dodger Stadium wherever you live.
Gunfire and death in a Van Nuys bar, a weekend of holiday violence in the Southland. The CHP toughens up on the freeways in a campaign that has saved lives. And Arnold Schwarzenegger terminates a competition at the box office on this Monday, July 8th, 1991. Now, Southern California's first two-hour morning newscast. Carlos Amezcua, Barbara Beck, Mark Christie with traffic and weather. KTLA Morning News. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. In just a moment, we are going to take you up in Sky Cam 5 for a look at the weather, making news this morning. A little bit of a surprise. We've got yep. some rain, and it's slowing down traffic out there on the freeways. Uh, Mark Krisky will be along in just a few moments with traffic and weather details. On this Friday, July the 12th, 1991. Southern California's first two-hour morning newscast. Carlos Amezcua, Barbara Beck, Mark Christie with traffic and weather. KTLA Morning News. Good morning. Breaking developments in the status of Los Angeles Police Chief Daryl Gates this morning. Los Angeles. Award-winning Hal Fishman, Jan Carl, Larry McCormick, and Stu Nahan with sports. Channel 5 News at 10. Now, the number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Award-winning Hal Fishman, Jan Carl, Larry McCormick, and Stu Nahan with sports. Channel 5 News at 10. Good evening. The Christopher Commission today issued its long-awaited report on the management and practices of the Los Angeles Police Department. News Hour in Los Angeles. Award-winning Hal Fishman, Jan Carl, Larry McCormick, Stu Nahan with sports. Channel 5 News at 10. Good evening. Number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Larry McCormick, Minerva Perez, and Ed Arnold with sports. Channel 5 News at 10. Good evening. Roger Mahoney, California's first Cardinal, celebrated Mass here in Los Angeles today for the first time since being elevated by the Pope. Number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Award-winning Hal Fishman, Jan Carl, Larry McCormick, Stu Nahan with sports. Channel 5, News at 10. Now, the number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Award-winning Hal Fishman, Jan Carl, Larry McCormick, Stu Nahan with sports. Channel 5, News at 10. Good evening. Now, the number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Award-winning Hal Fishman, Jan Carl, Larry McCormick, and Stu Nahan with sports. Channel 5 News at 10. 
Good evening, everyone. Hal Fishman has the night off. And a wild peacock is stranded on a Beverly Hills skyscraper. This is Wednesday, May 19th, 1993. Live, the number one morning news program in Southern California. Barbara Bank, Carlos Amespa, Mark Kresge, Eric Spillman, Michelle Ruiz, Sam Rubin, Jim Newman, and Jennifer York in Sky Cam 5. This is the KTLA Morning News. I agree completely. Okay. I agree completely. <laughs> Just little things. We have the yeah. best food out here, and I'm going to explain it later because we have uh, some news, news we need to get to right away. Also, we will give you an... 1994. And now, live from Los Angeles. The number one morning news in Southern California. Carlos Amesqua, Barbara Beck, Mark Kresge, Michelle Ruiz, Eric Stillman, Sam Rubin, Jim Newman, and Jennifer York in Sky Cam 5. This is the KTLA Morning News. Morning. morning. No guests this morning. A lot of earthquake coverage, though. Of course, there are guests in our 9 o'clock show. We'll tell you about those later. But first, check in with Mark. Now, the number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Award-winning Hal Fishman, Jan Caro, Larry McCormick, Stu Mayhan with sports. Channel 5, News at 10. Now, the number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Larry McCormick. Marta Waller. Ed Arnold with Sports Page. Channel 5, News at 10. Good evening. Convicted mass murderer John Wayne Gacy is scheduled to be executed by lethal injection just 24 hours from now. Live from Los Angeles, Michelle Ruiz, Carlos Amesqua, Mark Christie, Eric Spillman, Jim Newman, and Jennifer York in Skycam 5. This is the KTLA Morning News Early Edition. All that plus a convention where inked skin is in on this Monday, the 9th of May, 1994. Live, the number one morning news program in Southern California. Carlos Amesco, Barbara Beck, Mark Crispin, Michelle Ruiz, Eric Spillman, Sam Rubin, Jim Newman, and Jennifer York in Skycam 5. This is the KTLA Morning News. Doesn't everyone? I know. <laughs> this is big stuff. Everyone? This is big stuff. Neil, you know what? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> That's what I was going to say <laughs> right there. Good morning, Neil. Good morning, How are you this morning? Good. How are you? Very good. Very good. This is the week that Letterman is in L.A. Yes. And I think this... April 14th, 1995. Live. The number one morning news program in Southern California. Carlos Amesco, Barbara Beck, Mark Christie, Michelle Ruiz, Eric Spillman, Sam Rubin, Jim Newman, Gail Anderson, and Jennifer York in Skycam 5. This is the KTLA Morning News. Yeah, because you have to take care of leather. <sighs> you really do. Good you morning. You have to put the stuff on so it doesn't crack. Do Good do morning. Talking about buying cars. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. my, I'm getting my truck. Mike Cansom is here, and of course he's going to uh -huh. be talking about something with the car dudes today. Yes. And now, Channel 5, News at 10. Here's Larry McCormick. Good evening. Now, Channel 5, News at 10. Here's Hal Fishman. Good evening. And now... Channel 5 News at 10 with Hal Fishman, Jan Carl, Larry McCormick, and Stu Nahan. 
Here's Hal Fishman. Good evening. Shocking developments in the O.J. Simpson murder trial today. We'll have that report for you in just a few moments. Live, the number one morning news program in Southern California. Barbara Beck, Carlos Amezcua, Mark Kriske, Eric Spillman, Michelle Ruiz, Sam Rubin, Jim Newman, Gail Anderson, and Jennifer York in Skycam 5. This is the KTLA Morning News. Oh, I like this part. That'll wake you up in the morning. It is a party. And it is Friday, the 25th of July, 1997. Live, the KTLA Morning News with Barbara Beck, Carlos Amespa, Mark Kriske, Eric Spillman, Michelle Ruiz, Sam Rubin, Jim Newman, Gail Anderson, and Jennifer York in Sky Cam 5. LA's number one way to start the day. The KTLA Morning News. And now, Channel 5 News at 10. Here's Hal Fishman. Good evening. A tremendous explosion at the Texaco refinery in Wilmington jolted residents of surrounding communities at 724 this morning, and it even affected flight operations at the Long Beach Airport. This is the KTLA News Early Edition with Carlos Amesqua, Sharon Tay, Mark Krisky, Eric Spill, Jim Newman, and Jennifer York in Skycam 5. Live from Hollywood, this is the KTLA Morning News with Carlos Amesqua, Barbara Beck, Mark Krisky, Sharon Tang, Eric Spillman, Sam Rubin, Jim Newman, Gail Anderson, and Jennifer York in Skycam 5. Plus 180 yards, that's about a 7 iron, if you will, on this Friday, the 28th of November, 1997. Live from Hollywood, this is the KTLA Morning News with Carlos Amesqua, Barbara Beck, Mark Kriske, Michelle Ruiz, Eric Spillman, Sam Rubin, Jim Newman, Gail Anderson, and Jennifer York in Skycam 5. Uh, it's a beautiful day to chase helicopters. <laughs> Gorgeous morning. There's not much else going on this Good morning. Friday morning. Yes, I think it's going to actually be a nice day. Think so? I think so. You don't have to think about it anymore. It is. Great. Well, I, can, I can confirm well, I your thought. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. I have some serious that. concerns about our weather that I'll show. All that plus L.A.'s overweight kids on this Thursday, the 12th of December, 2002. Live from Hollywood, this is the KTLA Morning News with Carlos Amesqua, Giselle Fernandez, Mark Kriske, Sam Rubin, and the entire KTLA Morning News team. Holy cow. Good, Good morning. morning, everyone. So not only is it supposed to rain this weekend when everybody's having parties and parades. Yeah, for okay. college season, I... It's El Nino, the first time in 10 years it comes around. It's supposed to come this weekend. You think that's... And more, Charlize Theron joins us live. She's coming up in the entertainment report. All that plus everyone on board the surf bus. This is Tuesday, Woo! August 26, 2003. Live from Hollywood, this is the KTLA Morning News. Baron. I think you would know how to say her name. Yeah, it's Baron. Baron. Like Baron. Baron. Like Baron. Yes. Yes. Fight obesity. It is Thursday, the 30th of December, 2004. Live from Hollywood, this is the KTLA Morning News with Carlos Amesqua, McKenna Pereira, Mark Kriske, Sam Rubin, and the entire KTLA Morning News team. Good morning. Is it? It's true that what they said there was a tornado. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Remember we were talking department? about yeah. it. Yeah. We they thought it was, there. but it's been confirmed that there wasn't actually. Absolutely. I mean, it was just too uh, too much, uh, you know, destruction out there for it just to be a, a little microburst. Or we saw a lot a of sun yesterday, right. though. What yeah. was that about? This is KTLA News at ten. Good evening, I'm Larry McCormick. And I'm Sharon Tay. This is the Southland's number one choice for news. KTLA News at 10. This is 
is KTLA News at 10 with Larry McCormick, Marta Wallen, and Ken Arnold with sports. This is KTLA News at 10 with Hal Fishman, Terry Anzer, Larry McCormick, Marta Waller, Roland Galvan, Weather, Mindy Verbano, Entertainment, and Tony Hernandez with sports. This is KTLA News at 10. Good evening. Hal Fishman has the night off. I'm Terry Anzer. I'm Ron Olson. A tragic discovery on this Thanksgiving holiday. The body of a missing teenager swept away by floodwaters in Rosemead was recovered this afternoon. Our top story tonight. A police car veers out of control and jumps a curb while responding to a call. The consequences are deadly. And then a local lawmaker calls for tougher penalties for suspects involved in high-speed pursuits. Plus, watch as a trip to the gas station turns into a brush with death for one motorist. And a ship carrying Scud missiles is on the move again. You'll see where it's headed and why the United States let it go. Good evening, I'm Hal Fisher. And I'm Lynette Romero. Our top story tonight, a six-year-old Orange County girl lured into a car by a stranger. What are the latest on the kidnapping in a live report? And surprising new information about four gruesome murders that have left an entire community in shock. Also, one of the most volatile days in Wall Street history as the president addresses the state of the U.S. economy. And a large creature lingers off the Southern California coast. You'll uh, see why some consider it quite astonishing. Good evening, I'm Hal Fisher. I'm Margo Waller. Lynette Romero has the night off. Story tonight, death in the desert. Heavy rain causes flooding and disaster just north of Los Angeles. We'll have the latest on casualties. And then all you have to do is look to the sky for something that has not been seen in 60,000 years. We'll have a live report. Plus, a woman with a history of mental problems lead police on a bizarre stop-and-go pursuit. And pandemonium breaks out when a man aims a gun at a television cameraman during a news conference. A good evening, I'm Hal Fisher. And I'm Lynette Romero. Heavy rains triggered by thunderstorms pounded the Mojave Desert and caused deadly flash floods. Three people were killed when a car was swept off the road in 29 Palms. This is the KTLA Morning News, first edition. Even with his approval rating at a record low, President Bush stands by his decision to send more troops to Iraq during his State of the Union address. Two local robberies within minutes of one another have authorities wondering if they're looking for the same suspects. Plus, big honors for a Canyon Country teacher. A kid says she is the best ever. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. It is KTLA's anniversary today. We love it. Yes, it is. Our 60th anniversary. Good morning, everybody. I'm Cher Calvin. I'm Emmett Noah, Jessica Holmes, and Sky Cam. We're going to be out there live at Hollywood and Highland a little later on for the... This is the KTLA Morning News, first edition. The rain's over, but the damage is only beginning to be assessed. This is the KTLA Morning News, first edition. It destroyed more than 50 homes over the weekend, and now firefighters are hoping to have the Corral Canyon blaze surrounded by today. However, they are still trying to determine how the fire started. Good morning, everybody. I'm Cher Calvin. Good morning. I'm Lou Parker. Live from Hollywood, this is the KTLA Morning News. Good morning. Wow, Good to what a see. beautiful day, huh? Thank Already? you for sitting down and having a little moment, moment with us. Did you make <laughs> your first cup of coffee this morning? Good morning and talk about a hard day. The office. I'm Michaela Pereira. Good I'm morning. Megan Henderson, yes, good morning to you. Thanks so much for joining us. Live from Hollywood, this is the KTLA Morning Show. Breaking news an elderly gunman opens fire inside the Holocaust Memorial Museum in the nation's capital, but is getting in new information about the suspect.
Here in L.A., police are on the hunt for a rapist after a young girl is kidnapped and attacked. And we're live on the scene of a nasty pileup on Interstate 15. Dozens of cars involved. This is the KTLA 5 News at 1 p.m. Good afternoon. Welcome to the KTLA News at 1 p.m. Frank Buckley has the day off. I'm Eric Spin. And I'm Michaela Pereira. This is the KTLA 5 News at 6. And good evening. I'm Michael Ulmer. And I'm Victoria Ricagna. Welcome to the KTLA News at 6. This is the KTLA News at 6.30. Southern California's only local news at 6.30. Good evening, I'm Emmett Miller. The Friday rush is on. Here's Ginger Chan in the traffic center, Ginger. Emmett, if you're trying to rush anywhere this evening, you're not going to be able to get there on time. It is crowded. Let's take you to our Caltrans camera and show you what it looks like. Three powerful storms are expected to hit Southern California with a major threat of flash floods and mudslides. Run, run! Dramatic new video of the deadly tsunami that has claimed 150,000 lives thus far. A swarm of earthquakes rocks the Southland, alarming residents in the shaken areas. One woman's close encounter at the beach. Good evening, I'm Hal Fishman. I'm Leela Feinstein. Good evening, I'm Hal Fishman. I'm Leela Feinstein. Thirteen suspected members of one of California's deadliest gangs are behind bars tonight. This is the Emmy Award-winning KTLA Prime News. Good evening, I'm Leela Feinstein. And I'm Emmett Miller. Fire investigation. This is the Emmy Award-winning KTLA Prime News. Good evening, I'm Mark Waller. I'm Lonnie Coombs. We begin tonight with a raging wildfire that's burning in the hills of Malibu. Tens of thousands of people are evacuated and dozens of homes are burned. Welcome to the KTLA Morning News at 7. You are looking live at Dante's Peak in Griffith Park this morning. Some people out early getting a little exercise before the sun comes up. We'll have your forecast in just a few. Also coming up to you, good morning, I'm Justin Holmes, another major security breach, how a woman was able to bypass airport security and hop on a plane to LAX. Eric Spillman has the full report ahead. Also ahead, a police stop turns into a violent scuffle. The officer rushed to the hospital. Now the suspect is facing attempted murder charges. We'll show it's like Valentine's Day. <laughs> you messed it up. But it, just to be oh, fair, that's right. I mean, we all show up and we're like, hey, nice job, hey, Close. nice job. Yeah, but definitely. <laughs> Good morning to you. I'm Chris Schauble. Welcome to the early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News. And I'm Lynette Romero in this morning for Megan Henderson. She'll be back tomorrow. But we Gunfire near a high school. A student on his way to school is suddenly shot, and now the search is on for the gunman. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA News at 1 o'clock. I'm Leela Feinstein. And I'm Glenn Walker. Police got the call of shots fired, and when they arrived, they found a student down on the ground. Maybe boogieing like nobody's <laughs> business. But is it phony? Get connected. The news at 6 starts right now. You are looking live at Staples Center where Game 7 between the Lakers and Celtics is just about to get underway. Meantime, a big police presence on the streets just in case a victory celebration gets out of hand. Good evening. I'm Micah Ullman. And Don Mary Beth McDade all up. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Chambers. And Don Mary Beth McDade, the KTLA 5 News at 6 starts right now.
Well, it's almost Carmageddon again. At least that's how some drivers are describing the lane closures on the 405 again this weekend. Good evening. I'm Cher Calvin. Micah has the night off. KTLA 5 Sports Final, powered by your Southern California Ford dealer. Now at 11, a disturbing discovery inside a company bathroom. Workers find a hidden camera. We've got the exclusive details. Plus, an officer hospitalized after a violent confrontation with a motorist, and it's all caught on video. If you're going to die, you're going to die. This, if I would have let this man go, he would be free today. And the victim of yesterday's road rage shooting speaks out about the terrifying ordeal now on the news at 11. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Lou Parker, and tonight for Cher Calvin, women at one Southern California business are outraged tonight after learning someone was spying on them whenever they took a bathroom break. Okay. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman with Lou Parker tonight. Breaking news off the top on the 710 freeway in Long Beach. A pedestrian has been hit. You are watching the KTLA 5 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. We want to go over to Vera Jimenez right now. She is watching uh, the tropical storm that's developing in the Pacific and also... One game away from a trip to the World Series. Dodgers fans say tonight's loss, and by tonight we mean last night's right. loss, uh, is just destiny delayed. Early edition of the KTLA 5. Mona News starts right now. Well, look who's back. Hello. Yeah. Jet lag. Way jet lag. Uh, I, we're impressed. <laughs> Thank you. At you, what? You've opened a new spot. First, you had your South of France right, location. Right. You bought property in Japan, and we are just amazed. <laughs> we are just amazed. Welcome back. Thank you so much. It is closures related to it. We actually have a couple of cigarettes we need to break down for your ride. LeBron James gets a king's ransom. Details on the contract extension that'll keep him in a Lakers jersey for at least a few more years. The KTLA 5 Morning News starts right now. Good morning, everybody. It is 5 o'clock on a very windy day, at least for some throughout Southern California. Not for all, but the Santa Anas are out there. Where we're seeing those Santa Anas extreme. They're slightly cooler, though, compared to yesterday. Your full seven-day forecast, including your Easter Day forecast, coming up. Good morning. Welcome to the KTLA Morning News. It is 6 a.m. I'm Lynette Romero. I'm Chris Poros. Very good to have you along this morning. There's a car that has ended up really not where it's supposed to be. The car Welcome to the KTLA 5 News at 7. Good morning. I'm Frank Buckley. Good morning. I'm Jessica Holmes. Happening now, a massive show of support for the family of Sergeant Steve Owen as hundreds begin to gather for the deputy's memorial service. Donald Trump facing a slew of new allegations this morning that he groped and kissed women as Hillary Clinton's campaign comes under fire for allegedly mocking Catholics. And getting through security at LAX is about to get faster. How you could soon uh, scoot past the slowpokes. <laughs> and it could be the most epic tattoo of all time. Or is it a sign of the time? Scott, this is coming up. But first, let's get to Ginger for a check of the traffic. Good morning. Hi, guys. Yes, good morning to you as well. I They're on it. Our viewers, you can't get anything by them. If there's anything... They uh, notice something. Nine o'clock hour. Look at this uh, fancy new set. Uh -huh. If you're just joining us in the nine o'clock hour, we're on a new stage, uh, stage six here yeah. at the uh, studio. Now at one, the Alisol fire is growing rapidly in Santa Barbara County, forcing residents to evacuate and a portion of the 101 freeway to be shut down. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 1. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. The Coast. 
But first, a shocking update on one of the worst motor vehicle accidents in the U.S. in nearly a decade. Now on the news at 6.30. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. Tonight we are learning more about the 20 victims killed in the crash and the checkered past of the limo company they hired. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Chambers in tonight from Michael Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. Hollywood in shock tonight with the sudden passing of a Hollywood legend. Just one day after her daughter, Carrie Fisher, passed away, iconic actress Debbie Reynolds has died after suffering an apparent stroke. She was 84. Now at 11, the desperate search for this missing mother who disappeared under suspicious circumstances. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. 39-year-old Heidi Plank was last seen leaving her son's football game nearly two weeks ago. KTLA, Channel 5, Los Angeles. Wherever you work, wherever you play, Wherever you live, wherever you call home.